Uh, hey guys, Dave Webster here from Identity Crisis Design. I wanted to bring you a uh, design innovation as far as my displays for when I go out to uh, local dealership events and uh, shows and things like that. Um, what uh, This is actually a necessity is the mother of invention type thing. Um, we had a minivan who started to throw a timing chain that my wife was driving and um, I was driving around an HHR. It still has all the company graphics on it. She hasn't taken any of them off yet. But uh, I used to strap a six foot piece of grid work that I had all my displays zip tied to. I would drill a hole in the corner, zip tie them, keep a moving blanket on there so when I folded them up, things wouldn't get so uh, scratched up. But it made it easier to set up. I would just set up the thing, unfold it, and there they were. But uh, I would get customers every once in a while that would say, you know, I are any of these for sale? And I felt like I was missing out on an opportunity, obviously, because now somebody wants to buy one of these panels that I can recreate and it would give me a chance to do something new and hang up something new, but for that I had drilled holes in them in order to make my life easier. I'm missing out on 50 bucks here, 70 bucks there, depending, maybe even more. Um, I actually sold one of my displays with the holes in it and all to a guy at a uh, car show downtown Pittsburgh for 250 bucks, which I should have gotten a lot more out of it. I just didn't feel good about it because it just, it looked, it was trashed. It had been up there, it had been folded, put away, and had some scratches on it. Um, it the clear coat was showing signs that it had been compressed in the heat and all this stuff. So uh, whenever I got this, uh, this truck, which I'll turn the camera around so you can see more what I'm doing here. So I had to get this truck. It's got a five foot bed. Actually, what I wanted was a cargo van, but, you know, things going back and forth between do I need to carry children and other people around, will I be able to drive it, honey, if the car I'm driving now has to be into the shop, and a whole bunch of reasons, this is what I ended up with. But not everything that I take for display fits in this under the tonneau cover, and the first couple of times I went to pack it up with my display grid, this is all my display grid that I cut in half. So it used to be about that tall and it would not fit in there without hanging over the edge and just generally being a puzzle that could have been put together better. But uh, in order to do that, I had to cut all this stuff in half, which I did with a grinding wheel. Uh, that blew up on me and actually ended up hitting me in the leg, but uh, I'm a big boy, I made it through. So anyways, what I decided, to uh, make things easier and to kill a few birds with, with one stone is to get my displays to hang on the grid easy so that I would be able to put them away but not with the, not with the pain that, that it used to take. Um, so what I did was this. I got some Velcro fasteners, specifically this size, three quarter inch, three quarter inch wide. I specify that because three quarter inch wide is exactly what the circumference of this is. So these guys didn't take any trimming. I just had to cut off short pieces and I'll turn it around so you can see. You'll see when it's failing here. I'll get to this in a little bit. This is exactly three quarter inches. Let me press it down and you can see that seam going down the middle. It fits perfect, okay? Now, I am going to go around to these and put a little zip tie on them, okay, so that when these things start to fail, and because they inevitably will, I mean, it's glue, it's black, you get this stuff out into a, a hot sun for long enough and the glue will get soft and they'll start to want to peel back, so I'm using this as a preventative measure here. Now, the nice thing about this is, and I'll use this display here. This was hanging on the wall of my older, the old location that I was at, and somebody had put it on the walls with this double back tape, which you can see took some of the wallpaper with it. But the important part is this. This really nice, soft portion of the Velcro, let me turn this around. 
There is an inside and an outside to the grid. This is the, the outside. Find a place where there it sticks up there. There, you know, went, went good. So now this doesn't have any holes in it. Doesn't need to have any holes in it. You know, if the wind is going to blow with this. Make sure it's on there the right way. Yeah, this is the sweet spot right here. The wind is going to blow on this. It's not going to. It's not going to come off. But if I want to take it off, I can. No big deal. You know, and it even makes it easier if this person wants to hang this stuff. You know, on their home, all they got to do is get some hook, the opposite side of this stuff, set it on their walls, and then it'll stick. It also has this really nice other property to it because it's soft. I can put these metal panels one on top of the other and there's a nice cushion, soft cushion in between. I don't have to worry about scratches, okay? Now eventually, I'll show you an example of so you had to put a hole in here and you can see this was one of the ones, this is one of the displays that was hanging up on the grid. And I would fold it up and that's where you get this chip from. Um, they do, they would get beat up. There's some scratches. I'm probably, I'm gonna have to sand and, sand and polish this and, and um, work these, these corners out. I'll be taking this to uh, my friend's shop where he's got a, a shear and I'm gonna just trim it right under these. Throw a piece of loose masking tape on it, shear it, top to the bottom, and then I would feel much better about selling this. If somebody actually wanted to buy this or any one of these displays, and I've got more than I thought I did, any one of these displays, if they wanted to buy them, I'd feel a lot better about charging a full price instead of something like, you know, it's just a different, it's a different mentality. Uh, it's not a garage sale price. It's not a piece of junk that's only going to be useful to me. Somebody can buy it and then off they off they go. Real easy. Set it on there. You know, and then take it off. Throw it in the stack. Makes it easy to put up my displays, easy to put them away. I don't have to worry about them getting all junked up or scratched or anything like that. So anyways, I thought that, uh, and of course, because it's cut in half, it fits in that thing, and I don't have to worry about uh, not being able to put the tonneau cover down and everything getting wet on a day where it just happens to rain before or after a show. So you guys can take that idea and run with it if you feel like it. Anyways, I figure I would show it to you. <clears throat> so add that to your your custom paint arsenal of ideas, and y'all have a good one.